Veterinarian Jim Orvik from the Oregon Veterinary Clinic is here. We're taking your calls at 270-9933. And let's get right to the calls because the phones are jammed. And we'll start with Marlon, or is it Marilyn in Fall River? Oh, sorry, hi there. Hello. Hi, yes. what's your question? Well, we have a chocolate lab. He's about 10, but he likes to run and play. And he hits something out in the yard and bent the front paw. Oh. And uh, he, sometimes he can put his weight on it, but most of the time if he's running or uh, things, he'll stumble. We were wondering if he would need surgery on that paw. Uh, they've taken x-rays and things, and uh, they just don't know for mm -hmm. sure. How long has it been like that? Uh, it's been uh, a few months. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we lose her? I don't think we heard it. Oh, a few months. I'm sorry oh. she said a few months. Oh, oh okay. Well, it does need to be checked. It could require surgery. If it's been going on this long, there's something there that uh, so many things to think about that it's hard to say over the television. Right, it's hard to so, without seeing it. Yeah. Right. You need to uh, have it checked and, and x-rayed. Okay. Let's go to Sherry in Sun Prairie. Hi, Sherry. What's your question? My question is I'm taking care of my uh, mother's dog. She's in the nursing home oh. taking rehab. But she uh, uh, always uh, fed the dog uh, people food and with her fingers, and I'm having a hard time trying to get the dog back on a good dog food. Uh, so just wondering what, what I could do. Good question. Once you do Very that, good. can you go back? Usually you can, but it, it'll take some time. and. Uh, you can try, you know, mixing the dog food with the people food a little bit and uh, uh, mainly don't feed the dog much of anything else as it gets hungrier. Usually a dog will eat anything uh, when what, it's hungry. What is the breed of the dog? Uh, it's a Shih Tzu. Oh, it's a oh, Shih Tzu. Okay. okay, so if they get hungry enough, they'll eat the dog food, right? Uh, they'll eat a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck to you. Thank you for calling today. Let's go to Donna in Beloit. Hi, Donna. What's your question? Hi. I've got a dog, and I have smacked him on the nose. I have spanked his little butt, and he won't stop licking. Oh, that's a big problem. A certain spot or everywhere? Or... Everywhere. He'll lick your hands, your arms, oh, your face. You. Oh, not himself. <laughs> Is that right? He licks uh, you? Not that much. No, he likes to lick people. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. The... I don't have a good answer. I'm afraid Just I mean, friendly, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we have a dog at home who wants to lick, too, and I do the exact same things you're doing, and that's about all, all that right. I know of that you can do. Well, thanks for your calls, everybody. Jim, can you stick around? and Sure can. Okay, um, so if, if you're on the line, stay on the line, and Jim will go into the newsroom and talk to you personally. Thanks so much. Great to see you.